Hello, and welcome to A Word of Hope. For Saturday of Easter week, I'm Father Scott, still in Lindstead, Jamaica, at St. Helen's Church. Here's the lovely interior. And the Gospel today, we have Peter and John appearing before the Sanhedrin with a man they have healed in Jesus' name. And they don't know what to do with them because they said, these men are uneducated, and here they are speaking boldly. <laughs> because, of course, uneducated people, country bumpkins, don't speak boldly about religion. But nonetheless, they are. This is part of our story about how the apostles have changed. In the gospel, they don't get a good hearing. They never catch on to what Jesus is saying. They're often behind the curve. They don't understand. And then, after experiencing the resurrection, they are so bold, and they heal in his name, and they proclaim his name fearlessly. Such a change, we say, can only come because they did experience something new in the resurrection. Anyway, the Sanhedrin are trying to figure out what to do with these transformed peasants. And they know they can't do anything because everybody knows the miracles that have been happening. And so they warn them sternly, don't speak his name again to anyone. And they, of course, say, well, you judge what's right in front of God. But we cannot not speak about what we have seen. Would that be true about us? It is said that the only thing that evil needs to flourish is for good people to say nothing. And it's also true that the good news cannot be passed along to the next generation unless those who believe in it, who have experienced it, speak it, tell that story. And so, if you are baptized, God needs you to speak that story. But to speak what you have experienced, what you have seen with your own eyes, what you have seen about God's saving grace in our world, say something about to others who are longing for a word of hope. And if you're not sure, if you have doubts, then ask someone who seems to have seen something to tell you what they've seen. And that is the way we can build each other up to be today living inheritors of the work of the apostles who, after the resurrection, spoke boldly, or this Jesus movement would have failed. Today is the day to make it succeed again anew, boldly. Be a part of that.